Hey guys, it's Labor Day 2011, September 5th, and uh, I am done working with the uh, 1975 Chroma Color 2 with the uh, 1948 CG Z1. I forget what the chassis number is, it's some long thing. But, anyways, it's done and it's working. Uh, the primary problem with the uh, brightness limiter was due to a failure of the tripler. The tripler was not putting out the correct voltage at the reference point to give feedback to the brightness limiter circuit inside of the video uh, amplifier. So you turn the brightness up and it would just keep going up and up and up and up until it would bloom like crazy. Now there still is a little bit of blooming, but there's nowhere near as bad. And as another perk of replacing the tripler assembly, uh, the focus is just razor sharp. That was not that way before. It was really kind of soft and boring. So we'll go back up in here and you'll see poking down in there is our new EGC526A. New old stock. It was pretty cheap. It was under 30 bucks. It was like 26 something with shipping. Not bad. And then uh, I pulled out all the modules and crimped the pins very carefully, resoldered them, uh, treated all the contacts with the oxid. So now I'm going to show you how good the color looks on this thing after it's been all tweaked out. And you'll get to see how good these things really look. This is just using the Digital Video Essentials disc. Uh, we have a great variance of light to dark. Very bright, very stable. Pretty good DC restoration on these sets. You can see the iris really has to close to capture it. And this is with the contrast at only maybe about a third of the way up, so we've got plenty of reserve. Good color reproduction. That's one thing I'm, I'm very impressed with these sets on, is the uh, X and Y demodulation is excellent. Very minimal bleed through there, just across the colored wires. Just wonderful looking colors. And then there's our NTSC pattern. You can see the reds, greens, blues, pastels, all just brilliant, not saturated, very minimal to no bleed over. This is how color television should look. This is really color TV at its pinnacle. And uh, let's see here, we can go to the system of valve. And it goes through various stages of luminance. And there's a pure red field. Very accurate. Very little staining. Pure green. Pure blue doesn't quite show up right on the camera. We have 80 percent and then we have uh, blue and green, red and blue, red and green, more color bars and then here's our convergence pattern you can see the convergence on this is just about perfect. I actually, I didn't want to mess with it at first, but I figured I might as well just get it perfect. And it really is just about perfect. Come up right to the center here, it's great. Come to the sides, you've got a little tiny bit of blue on the very edge there. It's almost not even noticeable. I mean, it's just it doesn't get any better than that. And it really is hard to perfectly converge these delta gun tubes. The inlines are much easier, so this looks very nice. Yeah, let's see what else we have here. They have a demo on here somewhere. Uh, I was just there. Let's see, no, it's got to be 17 or 18. 
Let's go with 17. Here we go. Now let's turn the back lighting off. This is a pretty old disc, so the computer, uh, the CG on this is primitive by today's standards, but still the colors are good. That's really what they're looking for. It's good color reproduction. I don't really care for the litter box formatting all that much. I see what they're getting at. They're trying to give you a whole view of the camera, but I guess that's what modern 16x9 sets are good for today. The uh, bar anomalies you see are due to camera shutter changing the exposure due to the light on the screen, which is actually fairly bright excellent detail for a 30 something year old set Now that's one thing I didn't tweak yet was, uh, let's see here, we can go frame by frame, we're looking a little shy there on the color reproduction, so we're going to increase the chroma ever so slightly. That looks a little better. That's one thing this set does really well. It's flesh tones. Let's fast forward through the CG a little bit. And let's see. There's a really good close up shot. Okay. Now stop and look. Look at how clean her face looks. You can see the little strands of hair, the little bitty details. This is a standard definition set. This is crisp, this is clear. This was 30 something years ago this set was made, 1975. And you look at some of the sets they make nowadays that are just absolute junk. Absolute junk. These were the last of the real American built sets. Zenith really knew how to do it then. So let's see here. This scene where they do various dishes.
But anyway, uh, that'll give you an idea of uh, how good an expensive color television set was 30 something years ago. Um, these Chroma Color 2's are just kind of being tossed away and it's really a shame because they really look good. They have a great picture, great contrast, good detail. There's not a whole lot that beats them. And uh, so I'm glad you, I hope you enjoy the video. Uh, I'll have a couple more sets uh, getting fixed up sooner or later. This one uh, I picked up at a thrift store that was going to get tossed and uh, it didn't look good at first but it turned out to be a really great set. And uh, I've got a couple more sets in the works so you should see them uh, as soon as I make some progress on them. This certainly has a much better picture than the little 13 inch Admiral I have. Uh, but that is a completely different set. Apples and oranges. Anyways, have a wonderful Labor Day and uh, stay tuned for more interesting videos.